One day, our ancestor, Homo erectus, discovered fire. Huh? Well, what do you know? Fire? Hmm. Ingeniously, he used it for light. <sighs> for heat. Hmm. <sighs> and for barbecue chicken. Yum. The news spread quickly. Soon we were baking clay, smelting ore. Humankind had fearlessly embarked on the road to progress. Today, thanks to human ingenuity, over 100,000 new chemicals synthesized in laboratories fashion the world we live in. We've introduced these amazing molecules into our environment without really considering whether nature would be able to recognize them and break them down. In our short-sighted rush to progress, we never imagined that some of these molecules would one day work their way into living organisms. GC. These test tubes contain umbilical cord blood. We've analyzed thousands of them and found pollutants such as heavy metals, organochlorine pesticides, PCBs, and... That means that the mother was exposed to these pollutants and transmitted them through her bloodstream to her unborn child. Progress is merciless. After Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, we now have Homo toxicus. As a representative of this new species, I decided to sacrifice a few drops of my blood for science. I'm no hypochondriac, but there has yet to be an exhaustive study on chemical contamination of the Canadian population. <laughs> 